to my channel. Today is gonna be another pregnancy update. Today I'm going to be talking about my 15 weeks of pregnancy. Right now, as I'm filming this, I'm exactly 16 weeks, so this is just gonna be the entire recap of my 15th week of pregnancy. I started my channel back in August. I am a mom of two. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm now pregnant with baby number three due October 22nd. First things first, I have my handy dandy planner as usual that I write everything down in. As far as the size of the baby, the baby is about 4.5 inches right now and about 3.5 ounces, which is crazy. The legs and arms are completely formed. The bones are hardening, and even though the eyelids are completely sealed shut, they can sense different light through their eyelids, which is super cool. As far as my symptoms and how I've been feeling, I think has been movement of the baby. Now, I'm not 100% sure it has been kicks and movement, but I am 95% sure. With both of my other kids, I felt them at exactly 16 weeks. I remember calculating it. I remember writing it down in my head saying, I'm 16 weeks, I finally felt those little bubbles. They're like little bubble, teeny little kicks. If people describe them as like flutters or butterflies, but to me they feel more like bubbles. But I can tell the difference between gas bubbles and these bubbles usually. So I think I felt them around the beginning of 15 weeks. And now that I'm 16 weeks, I felt them a couple more times. I felt them last night, and I even felt them like 10 minutes before I started filming. Another very big thing that happened this week, which was awful, was my family caught the stomach bug. Um, this is not my first stomach bug this pregnancy. I'm pretty sure I had like a minor one in the very beginning. I don't even remember what week it was. I think it was week like 10, 11, I'm not sure, something like that. But my niece and nephew got it first and we kind of all were together at this time and then my family came down with it and Liam was first, then Travis was second and I was a third literally all in the span of 20 minutes and we were all completely dying in the bathroom together all night long. It was terrible, um, throwing up every 20 minutes for seven hours straight. So it was like literally from 1 a.m. in the morning until 8 a.m. we were just completely throwing up, throwing our guts up, and it was not fun. A part of me was a little bit worried that I was gonna be dehydrated because I could literally keep down zero water at the time. I had like maybe teeny little sips after every time I'd get sick and maybe little sips of Coke to try and settle my stomach, but nothing was staying down, and thank God the next day I started to feel a bit better. Still really weak and achy and sore, but I was able to drink more water and never got dehydrated and a couple days later I feel like brand new, thank God. Another symptom I noticed this week was random pimples again. I definitely had these in the very beginning. Uh, that's how I kind of also knew I was pregnant. Some of my first symptoms were random little pimples on my chin, you know, forehead. And I got that again this week. I had a couple like cystic pimples, nothing serious, nothing big, but you know, noticeable under the skin cystic pimples. So I was wondering if there was some sort of like hormone surge going through my body randomly at 16 weeks. I have no idea. But the pimples were kind of gone for a while and then they kind of just shot back up. I swear I'm having a girl. I don't know if I even mentioned this in any other updates, but I swear I'm having a girl because of my skin, certain mood swings. I know these can all be myths, but I notice differences between my pregnancy with my girl and my pregnancy with my boy. So my guess this time is girl all the way. Travis swears boy this time. So that brings me on to the next thing, finding out the gender. A part of me wanted to have a surprise gender at the birth. And I know a lot of people are totally nowadays against this because you know, if there's technology to know beforehand, why wouldn't you? But a part of me knowing this was our third and final baby, most likely, Travis gonna kill me for saying most likely, it really made me kind of debate it because I know it could be such an amazing experience. Not only are you having this baby, but finding out the gender at the same time, I mean, it has to be the most amazing feeling. My one friend told me she did it with her first and she's doing it with her second, she's expecting, and she said her husband calling out the gender is like, was like the most amazing feeling. And I actually like 
teared up when he told me the story about how he pulled, you know, the baby came out and the first thing he said was, honey, it's a boy. And I just think that would be so amazing. Travis was actually on board for it, but I'm kind of the one going back and forth. I kind of want to know for the kids sake to get them ready and more prepared. So that way they're kind of feel even more close to the baby when he or she comes out, just like knowing the name and knowing what to expect. If you've had an experience with a surprise gender versus regular finding out like gender reveal, ultrasound scan, let me know because I'd love to know your experience. But we're just not sure. I'm pretty sure though, I'm gonna say 75% sure we're gonna do a gender reveal after our 20 week scan, which my 20 week ultrasound is coming up. We didn't schedule it yet, but my next appointment is next week for my 18 weeks and then they're gonna quickly schedule my 20 week, which I can't believe it's already time for anatomy scan. Like it's crazy how fast this is flying by. I know I said that with my second pregnancy too, but the third is even faster because I'm busy all the time. I'm moving literally nonstop. So I feel like in a second, I'm already ha almost halfway through, which is insane. Cravings. Okay, this is a weird one. So I've been still craving PB&Js, but like a little bit less than before. I think I just go through like, you know, spells of wanting one thing and then kind of switching to wanting something else, which I think is normal. But Burger King original chicken sandwiches. Don't ask me why, I have no clue. I am not a Burger King eater ever in life. Any other time besides when I'm pregnant. I wanted Burger King so bad when I was pregnant with Kylie and the long, you know, the long original chicken sandwich with the sesame seeds on top, that was the only thing that was on my mind for like the first couple months. And thinking about the craving from that pregnancy made me crave it again. And the other night after the stomach bug, literally the day after, when I finally felt like I could eat something, I go and get a Burger King chicken sandwich and it probably wasn't smart. You're supposed to stick to the brat diet or something simple, but I needed to have it and it was actually really good. And as I'm talking about this right now, I kind of want it again. So that's like a new craving. I know people crave like specific things and I always thought it was so funny. I've never craved anything super weird, like a variety of like mixture of like salt and salty and sweet, like pickles and ice cream, nothing like that. But Definitely specific things and I hate to say it, it's always something fast food or something unhealthy. I don't think I've ever craved salad or any sort of vegetable when I'm pregnant. I wish I can say that I crave healthy food being pregnant, but I don't. And I, I'm still in my prenatals that are really good. I'm still eating healthy as much as I can, but I definitely have my unhealthy cravings and I definitely give in to them. Speaking of that like hormone surge or something with the pimples, I've noticed like an increase of mood swings this week too, which I feel like your mood's always gonna be up and down when you're pregnant, that's normal, but there was a good amount of time where I feel like I had a good hold on it. And in the past week, everything's been bothering me, but like I'm very good at trying to hold back. I'm not like super crazy where something simple makes me cry, well maybe sometimes. <laughs> but like, you know, if someone says something to me and I'm extra sensitive, like everything I'm sensitive about and I hate that, but I cannot help it. It's it's not from Travis. For some reason, he never really bugs me when I'm pregnant. It's usually my family because we're so close and we see each other all the time, like every single day, that they just know how to push your buttons and they don't always realize when you're hormonal. And I even had to text my good friend Kendra and my friend Kelsey who are also pregnant right now. And we I was like, are your family driving you a little nuts right now when you're hormonal? And they both were like, yes, like, don't worry. You're not the only one. It's totally normal. Your family knows you more than anyone and they know how to push your buttons sometimes. I noticed yesterday, which was the very end of the 15th week, I had a crazy increase of energy. Like the first trimester uh, fatigue is definitely fading out, thank God. And I have been way more energized I literally cleaned. I kind of had the motivation to clean anyways because we were all so sick. But I cleaned from 9 a.m. to midnight. And I can't believe I even lasted until midnight. But I slept like a baby last night because of it. But I was just cleaning all day and I never felt that like crash. I did have to go after dinner when Travis got home from work and get myself a matcha green tea latte from Starbucks. As like a little treat and a little pick me up. But I definitely felt like a super increase in energy and I was like, I can't even believe I'm pregnant right now. Like sometimes I actually forget 
that I'm pregnant because my energy has just been coming back. I've still been getting some headaches in the morning. I definitely think it's allergy related though because we've all had allergies. The kids have had really stuffy noses. Travis has had stuffy nose. Um, just, you know, itchy eyes. Just very, uh, you know, allergy symptoms. And I think that's where the headaches were coming from. I even woke up stuffy today. Um, kind of stinks you can't take anything. I've taken Tylenol for sure with my headaches, but um, so far it hasn't been terrible. Okay, but this is a new one, which I hate more than anything. Acid reflux which or heartburn. I don't like to call it heartburn because I never get the heartburn that actually hurts in your chest. I mean, maybe once in a while, but this is complete reflux where you just feel like the burning come up your throat after you eat something and it makes you feel like you're gonna throw up. It makes you nauseous. I literally had to have Travis go last night and get me Tums for the first time this pregnancy. I don't even think Tums work that great. I'll have to talk to my doctor about it and see if there's anything I can actually take that helps more because I know the further along I get, it's just gonna get worse and worse because I remember being pregnant with my other two, especially Kylie. I ate a lot of uh, pizza in my pregnancy with her and when I was like eight, to nine months pregnant, the reflux literally was terrible. So I'm not looking forward to that getting worse and worse over time, but it's definitely started and mainly at night. But so far, those are the main symptoms for me this week. Um, like I said, I find out the gender, hopefully the beginning of June, like the first week of June, maybe second week, depending on when they can schedule me. And we will be planning a small, tiny gender reveal from there. Just something with my family and maybe a couple good friends we have here in Vegas. So it'll be something cute and intimate and very excited for that. I can't believe it's already that time. And also I'm gonna be trying to stick to a schedule now that I'm filming more consistently. I figured since my weeks change over on Tuesdays, I'll film my prior week pregnancy update on a Monday so I can post on a Tuesday and then maybe post again on a Thursday for vlogs or any other videos that I have. So I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be my schedule. I'm gonna to try to stick to that. That way, those who follow me, you can know when to expect a video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and to keep updated with us. This has been so much fun to do so far, honestly. I've already met some amazing moms and just awesome people through YouTube, on Instagram. Make sure you follow my Instagram as well. I post on Instagram stories all the time, every single day for the most part, and I just love posting on Instagram in general. So follow me on there and like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are pregnant as well, and I would love to follow along with your journey. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Or 15 weeks pregnant. 15. Can't you see? Mm. I love you. I love you, baby. You say love you. You say love you. Mm, baby. So my baby, she's my baby.